Hey guys, Brian here coming to you with some more Bomber Beta. Today we're checking out the La Sportiva Maverink. Wait, isn't this a kid's shoe? Well, let's talk about it in a minute. Alright, so getting right into it here. We got the La Sportiva Maverink. I picked these up today at my local used gear shop and you can see what I got them for. 55 bucks. I could not pass these things up. I've been looking at these things for a while on the internet and I didn't really know what to think about them. They sell them as a kid's shoe and they had these in 41 and a half, which is like the same, almost the same size that I'm wearing in most shoes and they felt pretty big. So slipped them on, they felt great and I was like, you know what? I've never had a no edge shoe. So <laughs> let's give them a try so I want to tell you guys my initial impressions of these shoes and maybe like what you guys should think if you're looking for them so these shoes are marketed to children with growing feet and uh, you know smaller climbers some women climbers stuff like that but these are like pretty good shoes I would say um, and uh, at the end of the video I'm going to tell you what I think the best use case of these things is so stick around for that but let's take a look at a couple other shoes that we have that might be somewhat similar to these. Um, I love to go to this shoe um, to kind of compare, but you can see here, like, you know, sizing and structure. Like, you know, we got like a bit of toe hook rubber. Maybe it's not as much, but it's good stuff, you know. And we got, I mean, look at the bottom of those shoes. I mean, it doesn't look terribly different here. Uh, one thing, this thing is rocking. Uh, excess grip two rubber that's some good stuff like that's that's the stuff you go and get uh you want to go get a resole you're going to pay extra to get that stuff um so i mean these shoes are really nice and you know they're coming in like okay like if we're comparing like this shoe right here you can probably get for anywhere from like 100 to 130 dollars this one you're looking at you know probably closer to 180 and then we have like this one that's pretty similar, the uh, Futura by Scarpa. That thing's running you <laughs> almost 200. And then we have this one, which I think is maybe even the closest to this, just in the fit and feel. Like I throw these on, I feel like I'm wearing the pythons almost. Like, look at that toe. I mean, we got a bit of asymmetric. And this here, the, the, the heel, I mean, obviously it's a La Sportiva heel. You can see it's almost identical. I mean, I, I want to say, like, it is identical. I mean, there really isn't much difference there at all. Look at even the P3 bands here. I don't think they called them P3 bands on the pythons, but I'm going to move these out of the way so you can see a little better. But, I mean, what, yeah, what, what's really the difference here is just a little bit of rubber up here. The no grip edge and there's no uh um excuse me velcro right here that's that's it and we go from having like a 200 dollars shoe to like a hundred dollar shoe i mean just for the 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 uh, velcro closure that's that's insane i mean this shoe i feel like is of, of a shoe that people can wear and it's not just for kids like this shoe is Yes, it's a slipper. It's going to be comfortable. I mean, this thing is it's it's pretty it's pretty nice. It's it's a little narrow, but it it it's so stretchy and and soft in here. Like it really just molds right to your foot. Like you can see everything's pretty soft and 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 flexible, and it's just going to kind of fit you like a sock. And I mean, when I saw these things for fifty five dollars, and I'm thinking. Most of the no edge shoes that La Sportiva is putting out are like, you know, really close to 200 bucks. And to find these, I mean, that was like a crazy deal. And I had a credit with them anyways. So I just went and picked them up. Um, and I mean, I, I really don't know what else I can say about these things other than they seem like they're going to be a pretty often used shoe of mine. I mean, I, I've, I've tried a couple pairs of the no edge and I've found, you know, they're a little bit different to use. Like you definitely, if you've never tried a no edge shoe, um, they're a little different. You won't actually like, you know, get a, you won't be stepping on a little chip and, and finding that edge. You're going to more so smear on the edge, which 
Like I know uh, Adam Andres says that if he's going in and trying to onside or flash something, he's going to grab not these shoes in particular, but a no edge shoe. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, these things are pretty freaking sweet. And uh, so I told you guys I would tell you what I think about these shoes and where they're going to fit in the lineup. And I think that at this price point and the uh, flexibility and the uh, adaptability of this really elastic um, upper here, I'm saying these are the best entry level performance bouldering shoes for kids, women, and men. I mean, these are the shoe to go to for that performance. And I'm really looking forward to getting uh, some climbs in with these and uh, letting you know a little more as I start to learn about the shoe, but I'm really excited about this thing. And uh, if you guys see a sale coming up here, like pick one of these up. I feel like you really can't go wrong. The worst thing that's going to happen is you're not going to be crazy about it and it's just going to become a training shoe and that thing's going to last forever. And, and you can actually buy, uh, you can send these to a La Sportiva um, certified technician for resoling and they sell that exact rubber bit and they'll just paste that on there. It's a real easy resole and you get basically a brand new shoe. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, not enough good things to say about these things right now. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Uh, subscribe, leave a like, do all that good stuff, and uh, catch you in the next one.